future of Interstate 75 has been a topic of discussion for North Central Florida residents. WUFT viewer Adam Wendling asked this question through WUFT's Find Out Florida tool. What are the implications of increasing rail transportation options to offload I-75 congestion, such as increased commercial freight? Although he does not drive on I-75 often, he still has concerns about the highway system. I purposely didn't want to live out west because of the mess that the traffic is and the suburban sprawl. The Florida Department of Transportation and the I-75 Relief Task Force recognize something needs to be done about the highway. Every nine days that I-75, all lanes, one direction, north or south, is closing for a period of time. The I-75 Task Force met at the end of February to discuss potential plans for I-75 and rail freight was a part of the discussion. Some say relieving the congestion on I-75 would take a perfect balance of planes, trains and automobiles, except replace planes with ports and automobiles with trucks. To relieve congestion on the highway, a central Florida city will serve as a piece of the puzzle. Well, in Florida, we, we have invested $200 million on our S-Line, which goes down the middle of the state, uh, kind of paralleling I-75. And we've also built a new intermodal container, uh, intermodal terminal in Winter Haven. By using Winter Haven as a terminal, supporters of rail hope to deliver more goods throughout Florida by train rather than trucks on I-75. 